Good morning, everybody. I'm on my way, hoping that the third time is a charm. I'm on my way to another backpacking trip. I was quite sick, um, and I ended up having uh, pneumonia towards the end. Well, I have not done any backpacking or very little hiking, for that matter. I need to get my confidence back and my also my hiker legs back. So I'm going to go by myself. I'm not meeting anybody there and I'm going to take my time and I may just do like four or five miles a day. Um, if I feel like I can hike more, then I will. I just need to build up my confidence again. So it should be very beautiful. I think the leaves are at their peak state. Of course, I'll show you all the pretty stuff along the way. Also, this is the coldest weather I've ever backpacked in and it's supposed to get down into the low 30s tonight. I did buy a new sleeping bag that is uh, rated for 15 degrees. So hopefully I'll stay warm. Okay, just getting started. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon. about oh, maybe a half mile into my hike this afternoon. I didn't get here till one o'clock. Um, I'm hoping to walk about, yeah, I think it's around four, four miles um, to the Tamasee um, campsite. And I'll uh, spend the night there and then go on from, from there in the morning. The leaves are not quite at their peak at Oconee, although they are pretty. You can see some in the background there. Um, but there's still a lot of green. I'm hoping when I get into higher elevations, they'll be prettier. It's been a beautiful day so far though. It's very crisp outside. I didn't need to take off my fleece. <laughs> I'm trying to just take my time, try not to get too winded. So far I've been pretty good going up the hill. Okay, check in later. at my first campsite. Um, I'm going to try to go to Lick Log tomorrow, 4.7 miles. I only hiked uh, 3.6 today, but that's getting a start, late start, so it's okay. Plus, I was slow. <laughs> See what the campsite looks like. Whew.
very rooty here. Oh, there's a creek down there. Good. Water. Uh. Fire pit. Find a flat spot that's not rooty.
I can eat. flowers out. thing I saw, um, smart bowls, quinoa and beans with tuna, Latin citrus flavor. It's very good. And in a beautiful spot right here. And I'm currently climbing a hill. That's why I took a rest. <laughs> This is the Licklog campsite. It's only two o'clock, but I've got all the campsites timed out so that Al can pick me up on Saturday. But I kind of think maybe I could have been done on Friday. Anyway, I'm glad I'm staying at this campsite because on my through hike, I was so tired. By the time I got here, I didn't take any pictures of the campsite. There's the fire ring. I know the river is back here somewhere.
property. I mean, nice fresh water. When I came um, for my through hike, when I got here, I had hiked 10 miles that day and <laughs> I was so tired. And there was a ring of, I don't know if they were Boy Scouts or what, but there's just, as far as you could see, a ring around the campfire of tents. <laughs> and I came in, I said, I have to camp here tonight. <laughs> I've, I've gone 10 miles. I can't make it to Tamasi, which is another 4.7. So they were fine with it. <laughs> there was room for me, but um, I set my tent up over here. This is a pretty nice spot. There was a father and son right here. And then I sat up right over here. It was nice. I had that log to sit on and everything. Pretty. I got into my site pretty early today. <clears throat> So I decided to build a fire and it's really nice <clears throat> sitting here, it's keeping me warm. Really nice sight. This is pretty through here. We're ridge walking now. You can hear the river down there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Uh, I don't think you can see it through the trees. First glimpse of the river this morning. So pretty. This is Sims Field. I'm going to uh, eat my lunch here and then I'll have uh, 4.6 miles to go. Stopping here to get some water. <clears throat> Still at Sims Field. Really pretty. I'm gonna have to walk a little ways out on the rocks. You can see behind me. Um, water's low this time of year. Mushrooms I've ever seen. 
They look furry, hairy, like rabbit's hair or something. Thank you, Taz, for trail maintenance and also for the rides you give.